Let me guess. A story. Good idea, Molly. Hey, we can cuddle and relax, and I'll read you a story. Let me just borrow these. Thank you. Oh, and turn on this. Because it's important to have good light when you're reading. Oh, and looking at pictures. Here we go. The Floppy Poppy. You're going to love this. Once upon a time, there was a garden full of pretty red flowers, at least a hundred gazillion red flowers called poppies. I love poppies. Every day when the sun came out, the poppies would open their bright red petals and stretch and stretch and stretch up into the warmth of the sun. When the wind blew, the poppies did their special breezy dance, swaying to the music of the buzzing bees. Sometimes the bees would buzz some jazzy tunes, and the red poppies would do the twist. Too soon the summer was over. Chilly breezes brought shivers to the garden. Brrr! So the poppies made poppy seeds, lots of seeds to grow oodles of new flowers in the spring. Smart, eh? Imagine. One tiny seed could turn into a whole beautiful flower. What if, what if, one blowy day, a little seed got carried up, up and away in the wind, spinning and twirling, until at last it landed, kerplunk, in a faraway place. The little seed shivered and then snuggled into the ground to keep warm. And oh, then it went to sleep. It didn't go skating or tobogganing or anything. It just slept all winter long. In the springtime, when the warm sunshine woke up the sleeping garden, the little seed opened and a beautiful green seedling curled up and up to the light of the sun. Love to stretch. And a brand new poppy was born. The little flower looked around to discover it was all alone in a rock garden. Way across the garden, the little poppy <laughs> could see a crowd of other poppies having fun swaying and twisting. It was poppy party time. Our little friend wasn't invited. What's the big idea? I'm all by myself. Oh, hello? Hey, everybody, over here. It's me, Poppy. Hey, can you hear me? I said hello. But nobody could hear her. They were too busy having a good time. The little Poppy had to stay in the rock garden all alone. But that's the way things were. She just had to get used to it. She tried her very best. Sometimes to keep busy on a breezy day, she would sway. Sometimes, if she felt kind of peppy, she would do the twist. <laughs> Mostly, she just wished she weren't so alone. I wish I wasn't so alone. Cross my heart. Oh, I mean, cross my stem. Soon it was summer. And it was so hot. How hot was it? It was so hot that when it started to rain, the raindrops all dried up before they even reached the ground. I haven't had a raindrop in days. Here, water, 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 water. The hot sun blazed and burned in the sky. No rain fell. The little poppy wilted and wilted. Someone please give me some water. Just then... Are you a raindrop? That round thing wasn't a raindrop. It was a rubber ball. And it belonged to a little boy named Max. Max said, Where did my ball... Oh, there it is. As Max bent over to pick up his ball, he noticed our floppy little friend. Max said, Oh, you need watering, little flower. Wait right here. Water. Water. Add some cookies if you have any. 
Water. So Max got his watering can and a cool spray of wonderful wet water poured down all over Poppy. Through her roots, she drank and drank, and up she popped. And Max said, Little flower, I promise to water you every day so you won't be a floppy poppy anymore. We could be friends. And they were. And the little poppy was never lonely again. Oh, tomorrow, bring your lunch and we'll have a picnic, okay, Max? See you later! And that's the end of the story. Well, did you like that story, Molly? Mm-hmm. That poor little flower. Stuck in the ground like that. Boy, am I ever glad I have feet instead of roots, aren't you?